Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Socket One here, back with my Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 Let's Play. And last time, the story finally started to pick up again because we've mostly just been doing school stuff or finals, or not finals, midterms in the game, hanging out with everyone, upping our social links a little bit, which was good. But finally, we're back into the story. And we have found out who the next victim of the Midnight Channel is going to be. We had to see the person twice, but we figured out the person is Kanji Tatsumi, who has gotten a reputation for getting into trouble around Inaba, and he's a biker, which doesn't help things, at least to the people of Inaba. So yeah, that's what we figured out for now. We, we tried to do some more digging, you know, talk to his mother, but no such luck. We did, however, overhear him talking to another young boy, it looks like, and they were going to be after school one day. So, our next mission, spy on them. See what we can find out. Because we need some more leads as to how to prevent his kidnapping, right? Whoop. Sorry, you. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Drink it! <laughs> what do I get? More courage, right? I think it does only have courage. Oh! Oh, so you... When it's actually something good and not rotten, you don't get anything for it. Okay. Alright then. Yes. Let's sleep and prepare for the next mission. Has the target arrived at school? Not yet. Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. <laughs> target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. <laughs> Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. <laughs> Yosuke sounds so silly when he's talking like that, but. <laughs> the target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. Good, cuz Kanji. Well, he does have a bit of a temper, doesn't he? At least from what we've seen. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Hmm, good point. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. <laughs> uh oh. There he is. And there's that boy. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Uh -huh. This should be interesting, if nothing else. What in the world was that? That's what we're here to find out. Oh, anyways, we gotta hurry after them, or we'll lose them. Right. Get a move on, team. Okay. Then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that. How should we split the teams? Hmm. Who should I go with? Uh. I guess Chie, for now. Going with you, but you'd leave Yukiko with Yosuke? That worries me for other reasons. Oh. <laughs> okay. Man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke. Move it. So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Oh, yeah. Of course. It has to be a date. Oh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Right. Oh, phew. Let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. I'm sure they'll be fine. Pretty hilarious, though. She doesn't want you with Yosuke. Um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. 
Guess so. We better move. So, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Let's see if we can dig up anything. Hopefully. There must be a way to prevent this kidnapping. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Oh, did you get... I think those are drinks. That's really sweet of you, you could go. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Hmm. Me too. Do you think the culprit will come? Who knows? Maybe. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Ah! Do you think the culprit will come? Right. Of course I can. Ah! And we need to keep our eyes open. Right. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. I agree. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. Uh, of course. Thanks, Yukiko. We have to work together and hopefully catch them if they show up. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. Yukiko, trust me. You're going to be doing a lot. <laughs> We haven't seen her in battle yet, I haven't shown her off yet, but basically she's going to be our healer. You'll see when we get to it. But uh yeah, so she's extremely useful. I'm sure there's something I can do. I just said healing. That's gonna be invaluable. Sorry. It's fine. I went on and on without realizing. I I guess I'm a little nervous. I can't blame you. This is a little scary. <laughs> Waiting for some wacko to maybe show up. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Oh. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. Yeah, but I think people like you more because, I guess, they would consider you the prettier of the two, even though you both are great. But... I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. Aww. No, no. You're still her best friend no matter what. Nobody could take that place. The same is true for me. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> you sense Yukiko's gratitude and affection. Oh, is this how we start her social link? Okay. Right, gotcha. Right. I wonder why we weren't seeing her, because... I know you can start her social link after you rescue her, but I guess not till now. Okay. Gotcha. Social link with Yukiko established. Priestess Arcana. Yes. Gotcha. Pick mortal blow for you in battle. Aw. Hey, you have friends. You haven't yet asked Yukiko for her contact information. Oh, yeah, you know, that'd be a good idea. Um. Ask her straight out what happens. Huh? Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I figured it would tell me, oh, you gotta have this amount of courage to do it. Okay. <laughs> can't always answer since I help out around the inn. But feel free to call any time. Of course. Sure. <laughs> That's kind of cute, though. She's just... blushing. Hmm. No char- no, uh, change over at the shop. Okay, yeah. Thought I said charge for a second. Uh, yeah. Spoke to Yukiko about many different things. Why not? Oh, there they go. You guys stick out like sore thumbs! This is weird. They turn around, they will see you very clearly behind that tree. Yeah, we definitely stand out. What did I just say? So get somewhere more hidden, you fools! No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Really? Weird? What about them's weird? Good question. I don't know how to put it. Oh, maybe it's just my imagination. I think I know where your head is right now. Eh. 
Hey, could be right. Others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, no. He's not like you. You sure? Yukiko <laughs> doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. Eh, you never know, Chie. Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Mm. Maybe. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Yes, you do. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. Yosuke? Oh! What are you two doing? Busted! <laughs> Run! Well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> what do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Oh boy. <laughs> didn't I see you guys yesterday? Nope, nope, no, you didn't. Nope, no, that wasn't us. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Oh, Yosuke, you're a bad liar. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Ah, you're a bad liar. We weren't planning on getting in your guys' way, and and there's nothing strange about it either. Chie, you too. Just stop talking. <laughs> You're making it worse. <laughs> oh. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Exactly! That goes for you too! Whoa, 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 wait! Damn it! Oh boy. <laughs> well, that was an epic fail. <laughs> so what you think? Y you got it all wrong! Do we? <laughs> hey! Are you listening, damn it? <laughs> oh. It seriously ain't like that! They're so scared of him, they can't stop running! <laughs> it's hilarious! <laughs> that was an epic fail, though. Oh! We regret to inform that our mission failed. Big fail. <laughs> Big time failed. <laughs> you could have hidden in the bushes. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji Kun will come home. Well, if he does, I doubt he's gonna want to see Chie and Yosuke there. Yeah. Yeah. Too late. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Oh, busted again. You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. Ah, uh, right. Uh, we are not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Well, believe it or not, we're trying to help you, but doubt you believe us. What the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it. Oh boy. Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Yeah, that'd be a good place to start. Huh? Strange? Besides us, okay? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? No, 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 of course not. <laughs> huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... Oh, boy. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! Uh, he means it. Run! What? Wait, why? Uh... <laughs> I look like I'm joking! Eek! Run! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yosuke, what was that? Bumping into the sign. Oh my god. You ran away from Kanji as fast as your legs would carry you. <laughs> <sighs> Too much running. <sighs> yeah, I'll bet. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. For now, maybe. But 
It's been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. Yeah, so anytime now, he could get kidnapped. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. And that means we're going back in. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Okay. Looks like we've got no choice. He's probably not gonna want to see us, though. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Hmm. Not much else we can do, huh? But he's probably not going to want to see our face. Not after that very, very awkward <laughs> incident. Welcome back! Oh, thanks, Sonico. It started raining. I hope you didn't get wet out there. Aw, oh, thanks. Cutie. Ah, no social link. Darn. Okay, I should get up there and read. Oh, right, it's not gonna let me. Bummer. Right, I really need to get on that, because I think the next book is already out by now. Hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Oh, hey, Yukiko. And it's not a problem. What's up? Kanjikun seems to be missing. Dang it! <laughs> what do we say? And he's gone. When I spoke to Kanjikun's mother, she told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. Oh no. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? Hmm. This sounds bad. I think so too. He could be in the TV world, maybe. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. Maybe, and we better watch. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. Right. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Talk to you later, Yukiko. I have a feeling he will be there. Oh boy. It's still raining. Something may appear on TV. Gee, I think. Oh boy. Well, that's clearer than before. You see something on the screen. The image is clear and sharp. Uh-huh. Oh my. Oh boy. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. Uh, um awkward. <laughs> also, how in the heck did Troy Baker pull this kind of voice off? It's so different from the way he usually speaks, I think. Or at least it's very different from Kanji's. Oh boy. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. <laughs> well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo. Uh Oh god. Okay, well, yeah, he's definitely there. That was unmistakably Kanji. Yep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yosuke gets you flustered to get his point across. Calm down. But that was completely over the top. I know, but that's not the point. <laughs> no, it really was Kanji. Exactly. Damn it, we guessed right, but he still slipped through our fingers. Yeah, we weren't able to prevent it. But we know what we have to do now. Well, we didn't, so... In any case, that place that was behind him? What do you think it is? A superb site for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. 
Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, that was very awkward, but yeah. We're gonna have to go in there and get him. Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. Yep, especially if no one's found him. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. That's what we're gonna find out. Hmm. At first I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it, it was real. Yeah, same with us. We just stuck our hand in the TV and boom. <laughs> it actually worked. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. Mm-hmm. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. Yep. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. You'll see your soulmate. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. Hmm. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. Yeah, several times now. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... Countless people will... Or could be taken. It could cause a huge panic. Yeah, that too. If Teddy is right... The missing people themselves create the stuff we see. Mm-hmm. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Apparently so. <sighs> Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Yeah, but that's because it was her shadow self, though. Um, this might be a little off subject, but... Yes? Culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? Eh, probably. No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Wait a sec, I bet he is enjoying it. Hmm. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Yeah, probably. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. Well, obviously the person is a sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Yosuke! Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Cringe! <laughs> Wait, Don't do that again. I saw Yukiko's show. Do you think people were watching what happened to me, too? Probably. Oh, that is it. That killer is dead meat. I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face. Oh, now he's done it. <laughs> Guys. Now it's on. First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. I agree. I'm with you. Finally, ya. we crush the killer and send him to hell. Got it? Got it. You've all strengthened your resolve to save Kanji. Investigation team, break up. Right. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? Chie, those last two were the same thing. Well, she's angry, you know, and annoyed. Uh, I know. <laughs> oh dear. There she goes to do a laughing fit again. Oh, I forgot it took us here automatically. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. Hmm. You think... Uh, do you know where he is? I don't know. Some help you are. We think it's a boy named Kanji. 
I don't know. What's the matter? What's wrong? Not feeling well? Yeah, you sound a bit off, Teddy. Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Oh, I see. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? Mm, maybe. I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Hmm. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. Yeah, looks like, huh? If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. Yeah, we are, aren't we? We kind of did rely on his nose and his eyeglasses to help us through this place. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. Exactly. You'll get lost and never get back. <laughs> I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this kanji person. Oh, well, I guess that could work as well. I think we could do that. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Okay. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Um. Something about Kanji, huh? Hmm. I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah. Well, we know he's a biker. He acts a bit like a punk sometimes. Hmm. I guess so far that's all we really know, though. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. Exactly. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Hmm. Think. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally? Oh, like his mom, maybe. Teddy may be able to grasp Kanji's location if he gets more information about Kanji. But what kind of information does he need? He decided to ask around town about Kanji. Around town about Kanji, sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess here would be a good place to start. Will there be a marker above people's heads? So we know who to ask? Oh, yeah. I, I need to get the next book. I know, I know, I know. Oh, sorry. Um, hey, Yukiko. Bad rumors. Oh. Hmm. The last person he saw. Well, I guess that wouldn't be anybody here, would it? Okay. I guess we just ask everywhere. <laughs> uh Mahjong tiles? Oh right. I don't even know the game Mahjong at all. Huh. Yosuke! Uh... I understand, yeah. Well, thank you. I meant to talk to Yosuke. Well, I asked around the shopping district, but everyone's giving me the cold shoulder. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hasumi? Oh, that one who was on TV a while ago? He's always wearing a shirt with a skull on it, right? If I recall correctly, I see him out in front of his mother's store from time to time. And his mother seems so refined, you know? Yeah, this is... I forget if I mentioned it before, but this is something that, um... 
with Japanese culture. When you dye your hair blonde like that, apparently, apparently, at least, maybe it was back in the old days, like in the 80s or something, dyeing your hair like that was considered being or looking like a delinquent in Japanese culture. Apparently. I'm no expert, that's just what I've heard before. Let's see what they say. Kanji Kun is the son of the textile shop owner, right? He's such a delinquent. What a shame. His mother's such a nice lady, too. Yeah, see? Delinquent. It's not just his blonde hair, though. They're saying that because of him being in a biker gang, too. Uh, yeah. That's what everyone else has been hearing. Small boy came asking about it not too long ago. Oh! Aha! That young boy we ran into when we entered this area? Could be. That must be who they're talking about. Wasn't you? Was it in this area? I thought it was the second area. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Who are they talking about then? Maybe I actually hadn't ran into him yet. The game just thought I did. Oh, excuse me. Okay. They must be in this area then, and the game just thought I talked to them, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. I know who they're talking about now. Of course. Hmm. Wonder where this person could be. I think we talked to everyone on the street. Haven't we? Maybe we gotta tell the others about the lead. That must be it. Maybe we gotta tell everyone about the lead. simple enough. Just make sure to miss anybody. Yukiko! Guy. Chie! Oh, we didn't run into Chie yet, did we? Or did we? <laughs> can talk to you. Uh, did we go into the textile shop? No. I don't remember how to do this part. Ugh. Been so long. I am missing something. Trying to remember how you do this. Hmm. They haven't seen him either, huh? Hmm. Where would this person be? I know what they're talking about, but I don't see them. Shopping. Junez? Is that the hint I was looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, you say the same thing. Alright, I think it's telling me to go to Juness. Maybe. Oh, wait. Eh, square. That might be what it's trying to tell me. That is somewhere we haven't checked. Aha! There we go. There's our hint. Okay. Do we have to tell everybody else about that now? Maybe. I'll do it anyway. Really? Alright then, um... Decided to come back tomorrow. So I guess we go to the Dojima residence and... Do as it said. Come back tomorrow and look for him. I think. Well, I'll check one more... I'll check one more place. We didn't check the floodplain. We actually haven't been to this area yet, so... May as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so... That is what it's telling me. I guess we just end the day for now, pretty much. Alright. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. I think so. I don't think there's much else we can do. Since that person won't appear till the next day. Welcome home. Thanks, Sonico. Anything in here? Nope. Alright then. Let's go upstairs and read. Yes. Hopefully we can finish the book. Read thoroughly. <laughs> right. Didn't we read that part before? Finish reading. Yay. Excellent. Okay. Then we can get the next book when I think that guy set out comes out on the first. Yo. Hey, what's up? According to the weather report, we won't have to worry about the fog for a while. Let's keep cool, like usual. We can save the day and still keep our skills sharp. Good plan. Yeah, it's not going to do anyone any good if we get anxious. Let's be sure to use the time we have until the next foggy day to our advantage. So we can save him for sure. Yes, I agree. Fullheartedly. Now! Hey everyone! They posted the results! Oh, the test results, yeah. For the midterms. Ugh, the alpha moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? He decided to check the test results. I should have aced it. Because <laughs> I had the answers at my disposal. I cheated. Although I did try to answer them on my own first, before checking what the actual answer was. If that helps. <laughs> Top 10, yes! Whoa, nice, good going! You're so smart. Thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah. Yep, better get back to class, but yay! We did good! <laughs> oh, I need to save soon. Oh! Oh, Senpai! We ran into each other on another practice day. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go somewhere. Please excuse me. Maybe you should drop in the music room after school. I, I I know I want to. Ugh. 
We gotta go to Ginez, though. I know, I know. Um... I probably should check for social links, but... Let's do what we need to do, go to Ginez. Then I will end the video. And maybe we'll do more stuff next time. There you are! Is there something you need? Many people from the town come and meet here. It's a very convenient location, isn't it? Wasn't this boy... Wasn't this the boy you met with Kanji some time ago? You may know something about Kanji. You're asking if anything seemed strange when I spoke to Kanji-kun? Yes. Hmm, very well. It seems to be an urgent matter, so I'll, su I'll simply tell you. If you're asking about recent events, then yes. There was something out of the ordinary. It was something I felt when I was with him. So I told him outright that he seemed to be an odd person. After I said that, his expression changed all of a sudden. I was quite surprised. On that bias, I believe his actions were somewhat forced and unnatural throughout the time I was with him. He may have some sort of complex, though I have no proof of this. It seems Kanji has a complex or something of that nature. Kanji purported re pur pur yeah, purported reaction to the phrase, odd person, right. Maybe this is enough of a clue for Teddy to go on. Yes. Mission success. I guess we can do that. And there's a save point there as well. So. Hopefully this doesn't trigger like a long section. Oh, it's a fox! Look at him! He's so cute! <laughs> Something's there! Don't worry, it's just a fox. A, a fox? When did it... The mysterious fox you encountered at the shrine is sitting next to you. Could it have followed you without you noticing? Well, they are smart creatures. Where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary too. No, foxes are cute. This apron, I think I've seen it at the shrine before. He told everyone about your encounter with the mysterious fox. Cure us with leaves? Cooperate with us? Are you kidding? Are you serious? So it wants money in exchange for fixing us up? Oh, I actually forgot about that. That little mechanic. That's handy. Oh, that'll really help with grinding if I... Yeah. If I remember it right. The fox gave out a cry as if in affirmation. What the hell? What's with this guy? It acts like it understands what we're talking about. Because it does. Yep. It's so cute. It yipped again. Maybe it really does understand what we're saying. But, but, uh... When you think about it, that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox, right? If it followed after us, then it really is something. It's so cute. The fox gave a confident cry. Huh. You, you think it really understands us? What should we do? Well, it'd feel bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. It's just a fox. What do you think, Notakami Gun? It's a fox. It's got a cute, fluffy tail. Let's let it help. Hmm. Yeah. And about what Notakami Gun said happened at the shrine. Don't you think it? Don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? Yes. Huh? Are you suggesting we take it into that other world? Yeah. The one thing I don't remember is if it also cures SP. I don't know if it only cures health. I don't remember. Hmm. Guess that might work. It doesn't seem like it's going to leave that easily either. Nope. And I definitely don't want it being all sulky and getting up to mischief in the store. Yeah, that'd be bad for you. The box looks satisfied. He decided to let the box do whatever it wants. You should try taking it into the t yeah, into the other world. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. 
enter the TV. Let's go. And I can save there. We'll probably have to have a cutscene with Teddy, but no problem. And then we'll save. Oh! Sensei, you're here. Any clues? Oh, you found some. Okay. We can, but it won't make us right away. Hello! He doesn't mind the strange atmosphere. Hmm, what's that weird thing with the red apron? Huh? Sensei's helper? Amazing! Sensei sure knows some neat people. That's me, Mr. Fox. Let's both do our best. <laughs> Bet it's it. Aww. Yep! Soul drop, thank you! Good boy! Foxes are just cute, I love them. Probably because of Fox and the Hound. <laughs> As a kid, I enjoyed that movie. I know it has some mature themes, but obviously as a kid they went right over my head. But, very, very cute movie. Todd and Copper, adorable. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to stop this part here. I hope you enjoyed. There were some funny moments there <laughs> when we were spying on Kanji. That was great. But, uh, yeah, next time we will give Teddy the clue that we got from that mysterious person. And, uh, hopefully track down Kanji and see if we can help him. Until then, see you guys later.